Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Today we are finally, well, I guess we are because like you are also part of this. We are finally doing a solving your styling dilemmas video. I am so sorry. It has been 10 or actually when this video goes up, I think it has been 11 months since my last one. And I'm pretty sure in my last one, I said like, I'm going to be doing these more regularly and it's almost been a year. Uh, these videos just take a lot of like preparation and filming and editing, but they are definitely one of my favorites to film. So I'm so excited that I am finally doing one again. This is actually, I think, episode seven of this Solving Your Styling Dilemmas series, which if you have never seen this type of video from me. Basically, I have asked on my Instagram, which is alexsunshine83, for you to send me a piece of clothing from your closet that you just do not know how to style. I hopefully help you find a new way on how to style it and wear it. Everything that I will be using to create these outfits and just inspiration of styling these pieces are from Depop and I make dedicated like Depop folders for these videos. So this one is called Styling You Part 7. Obviously use what you already have. This just makes it easier for me to like create outfits. And also if you did like any of the pieces, then you can pick them up and it's secondhand. Now, before we get into solving your fashion dilemmas, let's chat about the brand that solved my dilemma of using single use plastic hand soap, Blue Land. I first worked with them last December and the hand soap starter set changed the game. Like I just bought a third bottle a couple of months ago. So all my bathrooms now use Blue Land pods. Like what is the thing that I use the most in 2023? It is definitely blue land soap. <laughs> Reducing my plastic use is always a New Year's resolution because sometimes it just seems unavoidable, but blue land has an array of product categories like dishwasher tablets, laundry tablets, and toilet tablets, which they did send me their toilet bowl cleaner set. And is it weird that like, I'm excited to clean my toilet now? Blue land uses no single use plastic in any component from bottles, tablets, and wrappers to shipping. And their tablet packaging is fully compostable. Their toilet tablets work on a range of toilet stains from rust, lime scale, mineral deposits, and hard water. I love how easy setting up Blue Land products are for the toilet tablets. All you have to do is drop a tablet into the toilet bowl, watch it fizz and foam, brush the toilet bowl once the tablet is dissolved, and flush the toilet. That's it. Blue Land is sharing a special offer with my viewers. All you have to do is click the link below to get 15% off your first kit. The first piece of clothing we are gonna be styling is this denim skirt from Cecilia. This is actually a submission from January 26, 2023. She had replied to my most recent submissions for this video and just said, I still need help with this skirt. So thank you so much, Cecilia, for being patient. And thank you to everyone that sends in submissions. It means truly so much that you are taking time out of your day to like take a photo of the piece of clothing and like submit it. And then also like put a little like information about it. Like, thank you, thank you. Cecilia did submit two different skirts and I ended up choosing this denim one and she kind of is open to what I want to style it. Obviously I'm gonna style all of these in my own like personal style unless the person has said otherwise. The first thing I saw with this skirt was like a green sweater. I don't know. It kind of gives me a little bit, not, I don't want to use like aesthetics and cores, but it does give that more like boho, potentially fairy core. So that's kind of where my mind was at. So I had picked out a couple of different like dark green sweaters. I really love this green like cardigan fully buttoned with the skirt with the collar with the cardigan you could still wear it with any of these tops that i had found on depop but you could also just like wear them alone with some other 
pieces that I've picked out that you will see in just a second. I definitely, again, stayed in those more neutral colors, although I found this like floral cherry kind of off the shoulder top that I also think could be a fun, just different detail piece to pair with it. I really loved this lace kind of tube top, like especially with the little bow, like are you kidding me? That would be so cute with this skirt. I did really like the idea of layering some sort of lace with this skirt, just because again, it kind of reminds me of that like boho vibe. And these could mix and match with the different tops that I picked out as well, or any type of like tank top. I didn't know what slide to put these three on. On, but again, I really liked the idea of going for this brown little button up and then I think this could go along with any of the items like the brown long sleeve or even the white tops that I picked out but this like what's it like a poncho? I think that's my favorite option. I mean, I think you have to own either that poncho or just a poncho in general to like make the outfit, which I don't even own a poncho. So that's why this one's a little wild card. For a lot of these, I like to include some sort of jacket just to, again, layering options and just like a nice little topper for the outfits. And I found these two different leather jackets and I think like a leather bomber would just perfectly pull the full look together. And then I kind of went a little basic with shoes. Of course, shoes are so specific to like what you like and what you own, but I definitely think some sort of like tan or brown shoe would be the option I would go with. Like I said, I really see some like forest green or like pastel green or sage green piece with this skirt. And so I found these different green purses. To finish off the outfits, I really liked some sort of like floral necklace. And I think you can go more into like a silver. Silver just makes sense with a skirt, I think. Again, personal preference, I love gold jewelry, but silver, especially with all the different like tones, would be very, very cute. And yeah, these are all the outfits that I created with the skirt. They definitely all have a theme. And for a lot of these pieces, I tried not to go too overboard with creating different types of outfits and just be confident in like the style that I have chosen for these. Hopefully again, it inspires you to look at the piece a little bit differently. We next have a vest, which I really want to do because I usually put vests with everything and anything and the idea of like building an outfit separately for the vest just made me feel a little challenged and this one says this gorgeous 70s suede vest I got ages ago and I only have worn it once or twice because I live in England and I don't know how to style it in general but especially in colder weather. My style usually has a little hint of 70s, but any styling ideas you have would be amazing. Okay, I can't tell if this vest is like a dark brown or a dark green. I went in with styling it as if it is a dark green. I really held on to her saying that she's into 70s and this vest is kind of like a 70s vest. And so this one I did create a little mood board of the vibe that I'm looking for and kind of outfits that I think would go amazing with this vest because she did say that it's obviously cold where she lives. I wanted to keep that in mind. And I think with any of these, if I show like skirts, you could wear tights with it, of course, but Again, with the green, I don't know what it is about green. I'm just really feeling it. And I think it would go amazing with this vest. I definitely am styling it as if it is just fully buttoned, kind of how she already has it styled. And so any of these I think would look amazing under this vest, especially a striped one. I was really leaning in to a, a green stripe with this vest. It doesn't have to be green, obviously, if you have any type of turtleneck, especially a pattern turtleneck, like don't be afraid to put a pattern turtleneck with this vest and any type of pattern. I think it is a neutral color that it would go with any type of like color palette. I really loved the idea of wearing a skirt with this vest and I think you could definitely go for a shorter skirt or a longer skirt and even like denim corduroy, velvet, and also, oh my gosh, this patchwork skirt, like 
can you imagine that kind of poking out underneath the vest? It does seem like quite a long vest as well. So any of the shorter ones, you would only get a little peek of the skirt pattern or texture. So that's why I had like an array of different lengths. The black skirt, I did see just with like a black turtleneck with the vest. I know that's very, very plain, but that would be a really cute kind of like date night outfit as well. Now for pants, I kind of took what I just said about skirts and applied it to that. So I have a lot of corduroy and I think I only have corduroy and velvet, at least in this slide. And I think you can have fun with the colors as well, especially if you do go a little bit more neutral with the top under it. Something that I think is a little bit harder to own, but I did want to include it is a pant with a pattern. So these striped pants, oh my gosh. I think you could even still pair a striped turtleneck with this vest with striped pants. I, it's definitely a lot going on, but I think the vest kind of keeps it from looking a little wild. Of course, with it being the cold weather uh, in England, you're gonna need a jacket. And I think you can kind of decide depending on what you own, what kind of jacket you would pair with it. But of course, I'm kind of keeping to that 70s, you know, neutrals, browns, warm tones feeling. So I have this like leather trench and some of these penny lane coats. With any of the options that I showed, I think it would go. With with all of those options. And again, especially if you got a textured one, a corduroy, a leather, even a suede. If you put suede and suede together, especially as another color, I, I think would be such an interesting like combination. Kind of thought of going for some sort of scarf and even like a tie, a striped. I'm very into stripes for some reason with this vest. And you could get a more textured one, like this fuzzy stripe one, because I couldn't stop there. No, I could not. I felt a fuzzy bucket hat could be great. I went very simple again, like a brown boo or a black boo, especially if you went even for a skirt or the pants, like a flared pant and some sort of like black boo. Any of these pieces that I'm styling, if you would style them differently, please leave it in the comments down below. We finally have a pastel piece and it is this pastel pink fur trimmed cape and this says i recently bought this pink fur trim cape from depop and i'm struggling to style it i dislike low rise and flat shoes but apart from those i'm open to pretty much anything i'm not sure if it has a button to like pin in the front but i styled it as if it does you could also maybe like hand sew a little ribbon on there to like tie it together because i think it needs like it to go in the middle. It needs to be closed. I leaned in pretty heavy on the pastel. So this is my mood board of kind of the vibe I was looking for with this cape because it does have more of a brown trim going with like browns or even plaid is an area that I did kind of like dabble in, but also black and white. Like the photos that I have on here with the black and white outfit, is so cute. I picked up a couple of different black and white dresses. Again, I'm thinking of the cape being closed, so it would cover quite a lot of the dress, but it would sh still kind of show any of the black and white kind of accents that are on all these dresses. The black and white does kind of take it into more of a like serious formal look. So I also had some options that were just kind of colorful. I, the only issue I had with this cape is it does give off formal, like it gives a certain look. And so some of the dresses I had found just seemed way too casual. I wanted to go for some sort of tops because a dress I think takes it more formal. So I thought maybe like pairing it with a t-shirt with like a little bow would kind of tone it down or even like a white long sleeve. I kind of wanted to go for more of a simple top. For the bottoms, I definitely kind of went into the more preppy vibe of it. Again, I'm thinking black tights, white tights, even pastel pink tights with any of these. I was curious to see maybe what a like plaid dress would look like with the cape and I'm gonna I'm gonna show it just because I had put it together but both of these I feel like wouldn't go together. Since I was going for more of a preppy outfit, I had found a couple of different little heels. She said that she does not like flat shoes, so I wanted to find something with a heel, but then wasn't too dressed up, like wasn't too high 
of a heel. I definitely put all of my eggs in one basket on styling this cape. So if it's not your style, I'm really sorry. I just, I, I it was hard not to think preppy and girly, pink, frilly, that type of thing. Moving from that like winter wonderland to I would argue kind of like summer spring piece, we have this top and she didn't really say anything in regards to like how she styles it right now and how she's wanting to style it or just kind of like any information in those regards. So I have free reign on this one and I, I definitely felt challenged to style this because it kind of has a little bit of a peplum. Like the construction of the top is definitely outside of my comfort zone. And so that's why I wanted to do it. So I first started out with these different options. A black mini skirt, you can't go wrong. And I think with the detail of the frill at the bottom, I mean, that's a super cute outfit on its own. But I also like the idea of going for a frilly white skirt. It has white in the top and it already kind of has some frills. So almost pairing again a frilly skirt, especially a midi. A maxi I think would be a little bit too much, but like a midi white ruffled skirt would almost make it seem like it's part of the top because you have the ruffles and then you have some more ruffles kind of going down with a skirt like that. I didn't actually put together an outfit necessarily for this option, so I'm just gonna say it. I also see some sort of like black, almost like capri with it. I didn't want to put an outfit together like that just because I know a lot of people absolutely hate capris. I am warming up to capris. I feel like I have to find like a good capri to be into capris, but like a black capri, I just think the construction with that would be really cute. Although keeping to the options that I've already shown for the bottoms, a denim vest is going to be your best friend with styling anything, at least for me, like that's always something that is my go-to when I'm like, oh, this outfit needs a little bit more. And obviously it is a top. So like how much layering can you do on top of it? And I didn't put a jacket with it just because it gave too much spring summer uh, to put a jacket with it. I think if you put a denim jacket, that would be perfect. For the shoes, I went really, really simple just with a white sneaker. Any type of white sneaker would would work with any of the options. I definitely see it as more of a casual spring day piece, especially with the denim vest. Like, oh, like that, that would definitely be my go-to with styling this top. The next piece we are styling is this black skirt. And it says, I have this skirt that is very short on me, especially when I'm sitting. I tried to wear it with tights, but it still shows my butt. I don't want to get rid of it. I love the color. And also it is from United Colors of Benetton, so it was expensive. I tried to find bloomers to wear with it, but no luck yet. The first option I thought of that would maybe be a little bit easier than try to find bloomers, and that is a slip skirt with lace at the bottom. Like imagine any of these options under that skirt kind of poking out to add a little bit more length. You would have to be kind of like, careful on the length of that slip skirt because you wouldn't want it to be too long to where it would look odd, but you would want it to just poke out enough to hopefully cover your butt a little bit more. And I think then with tights, like the tights with then the slip lace would work really well together. Also something that I didn't find on Depop just cause I was like, this is like so simple, but maybe going for leggings instead of tights would be better. I think you could definitely style the, you know, lace slip that I already said, but wearing a, a black legging, again, you would have to make sure like the fit is right and everything with the skirt. Even if you sat down and your butt was touching the seat, you are wearing leggings, which is way more comfortable than just wearing tights. And that's definitely something that I would probably do just for comfortability wise with it being so short. The skirt is so cute. So some sort of like frilly, fun, 
red top is where my mind was kind of going. The, oh my gosh, the red top, it's like a velvet material with a little bow, Ugh. but also a like sheer lawn, almost like baby doll top would kind of cover the skirt as well. And then you could still wear the leggings or you could go with tights and it's gonna cover a little bit more of the butt area. Another great option just for like comfortability wise. I mean, maybe it doesn't help in like the sitting department, but like in walking around is some sort of lawn jacket, like a trench. I obviously opt for a black leather trench because that is who I am. But any type of trench that you have, I definitely see boots with a skirt and oh my gosh, these red ones. If they were in my size, a little lace up detail on the side, like, are you kidding me? If you went for the leggings option, most leggings stop at your ankle. So it'd be probably like an odd looking outfit if you're wearing the leggings and then like you're wearing sneakers and it like shows with the leggings ending. So that's why I also kind of went for a boot as well. I did find this silver silver chain belt that with any of the options that I showed, I think would be so cute. These are my options. I'm really, really hoping that something I said helps you in styling the skirt that is comfortable for you and won't feel like you're like flashing everyone. This next piece that we're styling is this like frilly off the shoulder top. Honestly, I feel like I would own this. It is so cute. It says my item I need help styling is this off the shoulder white blouse I thrifted. The length is a little long on me as a short girl and it doesn't look good tucked in. Because the bottom is looser, it just doesn't look great with baggier looser jeans, which is most of what I wear as bottoms. I don't want to be stuck just wearing skinny jeans with it. I end up styling the top in a couple different ways, but these were also the photos that got me inspiration. They did say that's a little bit too long for a skirt, but I kind of liked the idea of having shorts poke out of it and almost creating like a set. So I found these two white shorts. I think the first one's kind of like a linen. And I was just trying to think about like the way that the fabric is gonna lay on top of the bottoms. And especially if the fabric of the top even covers a lot of the white bottoms, the bottom of the shorts is going to poke through. You can have fun with the pattern of the shorts if you did take that route. Like I have different checkered ones and even these like blue ones, even though, most of the short would be covered. Just imagine like a pattern poking out at the bottom. Again, I feel like you would have to go for a longer short, not like a short short. Now they said that they don't want to just wear skinny jeans. So I want to give another bottoms option that was like a pant, but not skinny jeans. And I actually really see a short, almost kick flare jean with this. It kind of will give you a little bit of the silhouette of a skinny jean, but then kind of adds a different flare to the bottom. I also see a pattern pant with it and I would almost lean more towards a straight leg style versus like a skinny jean. I think the straight leg style again is gonna do a lot of what the skinny jean would do for the silhouette of this top, but is a little bit more, at least for me, a little bit more comfortable. And to just add another pattern that I personally would do, an animal print pant especially these, they kind of have that like kick flare style. And especially with a kick flare or a capri or any, any of the straight leg pants as well, a little heel would be so beautiful, like a black little bow heel or even this like sling back heel. Again, I'm really hoping I gave them some ideas of different ways to style it. And again, it's definitely gonna depend on what you personally own. I don't know if I've ever done a styling tights for this Styling Dilemmas video, but I had these pink, I think they're floral tights submitted, and it says, I have this pair of pink winter tights that I really love, but I have no clue how to style. The photo is a little blurry. I, I think it's maybe floral kind of pattern on the front. I'm not too sure. This was kind of the inspiration outfits that I had found. I think with pattern tights, at least for me. Sometimes I'm like, do I go pattern on pattern or do I go more like solid because it is a pattern? Obviously these tights aren't as like wildly patterned. I did though want to start a little bit more simple and I saw a white dress with these tights. I think that's kind of obvious and maybe that's a way that they've styled it before, but any of these options would be really cute. I even found this like 
pastel pink kind of bow dress. But I also, for some reason, felt like putting blue with the tights. I don't know why. There's this checkered blue dress I had found. I even found this plaid one that I guess is a little bit more tan and it's almost like a overall style. Like the actual listing photo, if you just put those tights with it, like I think that's an option too. I wanted to put together a skirt option as well. So I found a couple of different skirts. I have of course the black skirt, you know, it's always gonna work. Um, but then I have like a frilly white one. I definitely see going for a shorter dress or a shorter bottom, but I also found this floral skirt. It's like blue floral skirt that would be really cute. I think having the little like floral, again, I don't know if it's a floral detail on the tights, but what, whatever detailing there is, having that kind of poke out. Some different top options that I think could go with any of the bottoms that I have shown. I also thought a sweater. And I think with a sweater, you can have fun with the pattern. I have a striped one. There's a gray one, a bow one, like obviously. Come on, come on. Okay, and then just because like I'm that person, I found this fuzzy leopard print vest. Why do I kind of love it? A little frilly pastel jacket, especially these like, I guess they aren't really jackets. I think they're like night wear jackets or something. They have almost like a quilted detail. For the shoes, I had a couple different coloring options. A black shoe or like a strappy black shoe in some way that's gonna show the pink of the tight still would be the best thing ever. I really, really like the look of that. Even like a loafer though, like a white loafer. I am gonna be honest, after putting together all these outfits, I really want some pastel pink tights. Like I've been really into red tights for the past couple of months, but pink tights, I feel are a little bit harder to find. Um, but thanks to this person, now I will be on the hunt for them. The last piece that we will be styling is, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Like I did choose it because I loved it so much. She found this dress at the thrift store a few months ago. And the only way she can think to style it is with a turtleneck underneath. I would love some other ideas on how to style it. And it is from what it seems like a corduroy navy dress with dogs on it and then dog bones on the bottom. A turtleneck I think is a great option. Definitely a way I would style it, but I understand if it's like, oh, this is so boring. I'm just putting a black turtleneck with it. This is what I thought. A plaid turtleneck, a red plaid turtleneck, or even like a striped turtleneck. This dress to me would look amazing with patterns. It does seem like, oh my gosh, it already has so much going on. Yeah, you have some color. I mean, you have colors going on. So picking those colors and then having pattern with those colors is a way for, again, maybe it not to feel super overwhelming. Also in one of the squares with one of the dogs, there's red plaid, but even like a red plaid button up under it with like the collar poking through. It kind of gives the same idea as like a turtleneck under it, but it's something different. It's a collar instead of a turtleneck. I had to find like a dedicated Peter Pan top with some sort of sleeve. So it gives like an oomph again to the layering of this dress, which I found some puffy sleeve tops to wear under it. These ones are short sleeve, a plaid like maroon puff sleeve top. I didn't even know this existed. Like that deserves to be under that dress. An option, if you did still wear a black turtleneck under this dress, that would still add something different is a plaid sweater vest or a plaid cardigan. Another option for a jacket. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I really wanna buy one of them. The red, almost like quilted blanket jacket. Oh my gosh. And then for shoes, I went a little rogue, okay? Um, I was on Depop, like looking at different shoes and I just felt like I, I, my creativity was being put in a box. Um, so I kind of just like went wild um, and looked at different shoes that were on Depop. And then to, I, I don't know why, I don't know why, I think it was just the like dogs that are on the dress, but like a cow print shoe poking out. Why do I love it so much? I absolutely love this dress. I personally love the way that I styled it and I really want this dress. So it is now on my thrift wish list. It is so cute and so fun and I really, really want you to wear it. Like, please wear this dress. It is so cute. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I know these videos are always like quite long, so thank you so much for keep keeping up with watching it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I've been filming for a long time and usually by the end of these videos, like 
there's nothing going on in my brain, but I promise I will have another episode of this coming, not in 10 months. I'm actually planning for posting another one in February. I've actually already picked out the pieces that I'm going to style for it. I just took from all the submissions I had gotten because I got so many and I always want to do all of them, but obviously I can't do every single one. I do also think the next one I'm going to have a special guest. I think these videos will work really great with another person as well because obviously they're going to style it probably completely different than even how I personally am going to style it. But yeah, anyway, you'll see that in the future. If you would like to see my face again and to see that video when it comes out, um, then make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye!